Currently, uh, acute exacerbation of IPF is defined as an acute, clinically significant respiratory deterioration um, that is characterized by evidence of new spread, uh, new widespread alveolar abnormalities. Um, the diagnostic criteria are previous or um, a concurrent diagnosis of IPF, um, acute worsening or development of dyspnea within the past one month, um, CT scan findings of new bilateral ground glass opacities and or consolidations um, that are superimposed on a background pattern of usual interstitial pneumonia. Um, and then finally, a de deterioration that is not fully explained by cardiac failure or fluid overload. And these were the diagnostic criteria that were defined um, in the 2016 paper um, that talked about acute exacerbations of IPF. The only difference from what we saw from 2007, and a very important difference, is that these new guidelines do not require a clinician to um, absolutely exclude other causes like infection to call or other triggers like reflux or aspiration to call it an IPF exacerbation.